Hey guys, it's Will. Um, I'm here to show you a recording of a video that I took the other day flying around Syracuse University's campus. Um, I kind of just went over some of the buildings and I just wanted to tell you about what some of them are. I don't know um, a lot of the buildings on campus. Um, only the ones that I'm familiar with I'll talk about probably, but um, this is my like third attempt at recording this while giving audio input because um, I keep getting interrupted by my kids or my wife um, as well this this video that I'm gonna show you is the same day that I actually crashed the drone into the side of my building at school um, obviously an accident uh, my skills for flying are not completely professional yet um, I was actually trying to veer away from the building because I was like a couple feet away from it and instead of pushing away died away on the stick I pushed towards the building um, okay well here we go so this is the dome uh, Syracuse University's dome it's pretty popular all the games are pretty much done in here and it's a big dome um, the top of it is like a tarp kind of material and it's held up by air pressure um, there's not a lot of domes like this in the country, I guess. Uh, I don't know. It fits around 40,000 people, I think. Uh, this dome is... Um, let's see. There's probably one, two, three... I don't know. There's probably six or seven, maybe ten exit uh, entrances. Um, this is the way right there. You see those people down there walking? That's the way I walk to and from my school. Um... I walk past the dome all the time. You walk by the doors over there, and you hear nothing but air pressure from the doors. It sounds like a jet taking off. Um, and I didn't know what that was until recently. Somebody told me that it's just pressurized in there, and that's what that's what the noise is from. Uh, this building that I'm over right now is the new law school building. They moved it. It used to be down the road, down the street. Here's a different angle of the dome. Um, it's called the Carrier Dome, actually. Yeah, the uh, school was actually talking about building a new dome that was going to cost a billion dollars, but I don't know if that's in the works or not. Uh, this dome is pretty old. I don't know uh, what they would do if they built a new one, if they'd keep this or not. Uh, it would be a lot of work to tear that thing down. You can see how big it is. I mean, there's games in there every, every week pretty much. Uh, Circle in this way, we're right over some of the dorms, uh, Ernie Davis, and then that big tall tower right there is Lawrence and Student Domes. I actually park in there. Oh, I have a student pass to park in there. Uh, these buildings over here are ESF, the Environmental School of Forestry, or whatever, I guess. I'm not sure, I'm not an ESF student. Uh, just gonna fly over this way, gonna show you some more pictures, or some more buildings I just got this drone not too long ago actually within the last couple weeks and I've done some flying around my neighborhood uh, I did a thousand foot uh, aerial video of flying over Onondaga Lake in upstate New York um, I flew it around my neighborhood and clipped a tree and actually it went down uh, on that day I was like a half mile away from the house and I had to track it down with the GPS um, and since then, I have, well, since the day I crashed it into the high school, my school here, um, I actually got prop guards to help protect the wings, because I've had to replace the props a couple times now. But the drone is pretty solid. It flies well. Um, if it impacts on anything without the drone prop, the props, the, uh, um, the propellers will just break, and the drone is, will be fine. Don't want to do that, though. So this place right here, I'm looking down on that bus. This is an area where the Syracuse like buses come and pick up students, transport them around campus uh, from here to South Campus, and you can go to the mall and stuff for free. But this is usually crowded during the school day. Uh, you have a lot of students that ride the bus. That building right there below us is the School of Engineering. They just did a bunch of work on that building this summer. Uh, this is the quad, where this, all this zigzagging sidewalks flying right over the quad now um, I'm gonna be looking right here at the Hendricks Chapel if 
you're religious, uh, you can come here, you know, it's just a church, all kinds of different religions in there. Uh, last semester I did a project on pagans, and I went in there and we actually interviewed a pagan chaplain in the, in the chapel there. Um, a lot of good people in that building. And let me remind you, most of these buildings on campus are from like the early 1900s, so they look historic including the Carnegie over here, 1905. Um, yeah, this campus has been around for a while. That right there, the Carnegie Library with the orange Carnegie banners. Um, that's an old building. It was named after a guy that would, you know, the last name of Carnegie that founded it in 1905. Uh, it's pretty pretty elegant in there. There's marble floors, and they just did a bunch of construction on it last year. Uh, they redid like the whole inside of it. It looks amazing. It, it looks like a billion dollar mansion inside of that thing. But it's a quiet place to go. Uh, there's another library here called the Bird Library. Um, it's bigger, probably more more updated. Um, I don't really visit the libraries too much because there's just too many people in there for me. Everybody hangs out at the library. A lot of groups come and do projects there and it, it can get noisy. So here's looking down at the quad again. Uh, the quad is just called the quad because it's got four sides. It's pretty much a big triangle. Or <laughs> triangle. I need to go back to elementary school. <laughs> it's pretty much like a big rectangle. Uh, a lot of people hang out on the quad, throw frisbees, play catch. In the summertime you'll see students laying out there on the quad like they're sun tanning. Uh, people out there on laptops and stuff. So this building we're circling around was one of the first buildings at Syracuse University. I guess most of the schools um, started out in that building. That's why it looks cool and historic. That would that would make a really cool haunted house. Um, a lot of these buildings have vines and leafy stuff growing up the sides of them. It just I don't know. It gives it character. I like how they look. That's the School of Public Communications, I think. And Oprah Winfrey actually came because they added on a portion of that building and redid it and um, Oprah Winfrey was a donator for that so she came and you know had a huge crowd of people this building here is one of my favorite buildings on campus it looks like Hogwarts from Harry Potter's um, they have a secret society that actually goes up in that bell tower and rings the bell like randomly like nobody knows who these people are but they'll play songs on the bell up there and it's really cool Sounds like an old church bell. Um, I went inside of there one time. It's got really elegant, fancy uh, woodworking and the banisters and the handrails. and it's, It looks just as gorgeous on the inside as it does the outside. It's on a really tall hill. You probably can't see the slope of the hill from the air, but um, it's closed off during the wintertime. At least that long stairwell that goes down because it's hard to plow and keep you know, the ice off of it, so they close the end of it off, and you can't really go up it, but I guess students steal, well, not steal, but they take the meal trays from the lunchroom in the wintertime, and they slide down that hill, I guess. It's a big thing. It's kind of traditional here at Syracuse University. Um, I don't know exactly what they do in that school. I think it's like music, and well, it's like an arts and science building. They do arts and music, and I'm not sure. It's just a big, cool-looking building. Looking down at the stairs, when they do tours, they usually go right there to that intersection. All the new people coming in, the parents, you can look up the hill at the cool building. Um, that building would make a really sweet house. But SU does a pretty good job at keeping the maintenance and everything up on these buildings. They want to keep it traditional, and but... Yeah, there's a lot of buildings that look like that. That one right across there, it's a smaller version of it. I have never had a, cl well, yeah, I've never had a class in that building over there. I've had, when well, you come here, you have classes scattered out throughout the buildings. Like, you'll have a class in that building, and a building across the street, maybe you'll have a class, and then you'll have to walk across campus to another building. Um... Yeah, but these buildings are open to anybody. You can pretty much come in through here and when you're not doing anything and just check some of these buildings out. You might be able to find a cool hiding place to study or 
just to hang out. Kind of swing around here and get more of an aerial view of that building. Got a little parking lot down here. There's the back of Hendricks Chapel. Probably right over the top of it here. And there's probably uh, classes going on right now, but some of these students are just walking around. Uh, I think there's a family down there on the quad that's looking up at the drone right now, actually. <laughs> Um, most of my other videos, well actually all of them don't have video or audio input because the drone doesn't record audio. At least mine doesn't. If it did, it would just, all you'd hear is the propellers like sound like bees anyways. But I wanted to give kind of like, I wanted to give more of a in-depth experience instead of just flying around and not hearing anything. I wanted to be able to give like a uh, potential people looking to come here maybe more of an idea for my take on the, the campus and just to make the video not as boring oh if you look right across uh, a couple buildings to that to the left actually that big huge square looking building to the left like all the way up at the left that's bird library uh, we're looking right down at the corner of machinery hall in the middle the right side is um, the engineering building and the left side right there the bottom left by the trees that's the high school the school of information studies that's the school that I go to we'll swing back over here got some people down there looking up at the drone I swear it's funny like you don't normally see drones flying around so it's like foreign to everyone <laughs> It's like these people are from like the Stone Ages that's looking up at this technology like, oh my god, aliens are here to invade us. <sighs> it just makes me wonder like how people thought about when, you know, like airplanes first flew over their heads and they were looking up like we were being invaded by somebody. <laughs> this person right there is just so interested in the drone look. Uh, yeah, this is right over the quad. Good place to hang out. pretty big area. I actually flew this on campus uh, the other day and was flying it around low enough to where like you could grab it but there was a dog chasing it around the quad and for anyone that does snapchat like the campus here has a snapchat story <laughs> and it actually made my drone made it on the snapchat story for campus of the dog chasing it around the quad thought that was kind of interesting. <laughs> I've never made the campus ch uh, Snapchat story before, but the quad must have been interesting enough to make it anyways. The quad captor, I mean, not quad. Actually, right now, I'm flying it. I'm sitting down by the iSchool right now flying this, and one of the security guards, the DPS guards from campus, came up and was talking to me because she thought she heard something fly over her and she wasn't sure so she was walking around and found me with the remote and she she walked up and said oh you're the one flying this I thought somebody was flying one around here and I was just showing her uh, the screen because I have my screen on my phone hooked up to the controller and the drone feeds uh, 720p uh, quality video back to me so the drone can be out of range of sight but I can still see where I'm going on my uh, phone screen so I was kind of flying it around showing her I don't remember if I come back down where I'm at and show you myself or not but um, I can't really get to south campus with the drone from here because my range is only 1.2 miles and south campus is like two miles or more away but this this is going over towards West Campus, out there on the highway where all the cars are going. You got some dorms out that way for graduate students. Came back over to here to check out the dome again. Circling back around towards the quad again. Most of the buildings that you see on this screen are uh, part of campus. Way up there to the right-hand corner there might be some... Well, not now, but some frat houses, or there is a housing community around here where older people that went to Syracuse or something live. And let's see, did I get this? 
Did I show myself? I think the video is about to end soon. Um, but I hope you liked the video and you learned a lot. And I will catch you later. Stay tuned for my next video. Thanks.